All right, guys, so we are doing another reaction. This one here is going to be a little different because if you look, I've got this like publisher sale, which I've already brought up. And then we have like a couple of games and then we have another publisher sale. So we're going to kind of do this split. So we're going to do the first one first and then I'll go over this one next and we'll see. I already have some games in my cart that I've been doing these reviews on that I thought it would be more like $100. It's more like $45 and I'm like, anyways. So this is bad for my bank account doing these videos, but I'm finding games that I think are intriguing and whatnot. And hopefully by going over these with you guys, you might find a new game that you like too. And as somebody who's done gaming for 30 plus years, I enjoy finding new games and things that might pique my interest. And if I get a game and I hate it, I'm not one to return games. I've never returned a game on Steam. Um, I know you can. I've just never done it. Like if I've got games that I've bought that I've only played like one or two hours and I'm like, oh, I fucking hate this. And then like, I never play it again. And I just delete it off my computer. I don't go back and get a refund for it. I probably should. I'm not worried about it. I really am not. Unless I'm spending like 50 plus dollars on a game, I'm not going to go through all that trouble. I also do wish we still had the ability to get CD games. Like, and you know, some computers don't even have CD slots anymore. But my thing is, is I miss the days of owning a physical copy of my game because when you have Steam and your internet goes down, guess what? You can't play your shit no more. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Anyways, so let's see what these, this is the Capcom publisher sale. This says this third party event is presented by Capcom. They've got over a million followers on here. So let's see. We have Resident Evil 4. I have never played anything in the Resident Evil franchise. We have Street Fighter, never played any of those. Dark's Dungeon, uh, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Riser. It looks like a D&D kind of based game. It says it's fantasy. We might come back to that. You've got some Mega Man games. Never heard of those. Monster Hunter World, I have looked at. I was interested when it first came out and then I had some friends play it and then I was less inclined to play it after that. So <laughs> like, no. Then we have Ace Apollo Attorney uh, Trilogy. Again, not too keen on that. Exo Primal. Online team-based action game that pits humanity's cutting edge Exo's technology against history's most ferocious beasts and dinosaurs. Sounds like Warframe. Looks kind of like Warframe. A little clunky version of Warframe. All right, then we have Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Why is his butt in the air? Oh, that looks annoying. Um, Street Fighter. I have, okay, other than like the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter games that you have in the arcades, I have never played them not in an arcade. I've also never been interested in playing them not in an arcade. We got Resident Evil, the uh, Village Resident Evil. Now, I've watched all of the movies and the cartoons and whatnot for Resident Evil. I am not inclined to play any of the video games. And I do know that the games came first and then the movies were made. But I've never been intrigued to play the games. I do enjoy the movies, though. Terrifying, but enjoy them. Let's see, there's more Resident Evil stuff. Whatever the Great Ace Attorney, looks like a JRPG kind of thing. Um, I don't really like this kind of gaming style. I don't like this kind of stuff either. Like I'll watch anime and manga, but like it's not my thing to like play a game version of it. I like Western games versus, you know, Eastern games. Devil May Cry 5? Never even heard of that. Oh, looks like Critica. Okay. Dead Rising? Oh, no, no zombies. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. Not gonna watch that. So, the only thing that looked interesting was this one up here. So, let's click this really quick. Oh. I know that's not my birth date. Came out in 2016. It's, it's, it is an RPG. Let's watch the trailer real quick. This is called Dragon's Dark, a Dogma Dark Arisen. 
Whoops. I'm trying to make it big and then it fucking... There. Did I reset it? Where's the fucking restart button? There you go. This, this is dragon! I think we can all see that it was a dragon, dude. Whoa. What'd you smack his foot for? Rated M for mature. I'm not mature. Does that mean I can't play it? That trailer kind of was not captivating. Like, I, I am more intrigued by the photos than anything. That big fucking lion. Jesus Christ. Ocean. Oh. The big bird. Off naked. That's a pretty shield. I don't know, it's kind of like giving Arc Age and um, Black Desert and that kind of vibe. Oh, it's only $4. It is 84% off. Holy cow. This is a huge open world. Dragon Dogma's Dark Arisen presents a rewarding action combat experience. Players embark on an epic adventure in a rich living world with three AI companions known as Pawns. Three pawns fight independently, demonstrating prowess and ability that they have developed based on the traits learned from each player. PC users can share these pawns online and reap rewards of treasures, tips, and strategy hints for taking down the terrifying enemies. Pawns can also be borrowed when specific skills are, uh, are needed to complete various challenges. Dynamic combat, tons of content, customizable options, stunning visuals, full Steam platform support, expanded controller support, and new achievements. Um, 132 hours for five bucks, laughing my ass off. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. I'm 12 years late to the party, but man, what a great game. They don't really make them like they used to. I got so sick of the AAA spaces these past years. It's really refreshing to play a good, fun video game again. Who would have thought this was February 15th? March 9th, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Haven't played it on PS3. Have, having played it on PS3, then PS4, and now on PC, it's a game that was so well done for its time and seeing two coming out. Uh, seeing two coming out, it's so nice to go through yet again. So we'll, we'll wishlist it and we'll follow it. This is Dragon Dogma Dark Arisen. Let me grab the information for it. It says it is set in a huge open world. Dragon Dogma Dark Arisen presents a rewarding action combat experience. It's got 816 very positive reviews. 30,934 very positive all reviews. Release date January 5th. 2016 this is from capcom and let me grab the link and then we'll move on to the next thing i mean this is interesting um it is an older game like eight years old but it did pique my interest all right so let me pull my thingamabob back up this one here is classic games weekend deal now the one thing that okay let me go back the one thing on here I have played SimCity 3000. I haven't played it in ages, though. So, um, I also like Sid Meier's games. I, I own a lot of the Sid Meier games. So, we'll see how many of these games I actually own and or have played. So, this is from Electronic Arts. Classic games are now available. Save up to 60% today. This one shows The Saboteur, Populous 2, um, Command and Conquer, SimCity 3000, which again, I used to play that game when it was new. <laughs> I remember playing uh, SimCity, SimCity 2000, SimCity 3000, Sim Farm, Sim Ant, um, Sim Hunting. I played them all. Um, and I still have some of them on disc. 
So yeah, the, this one also has Dungeon Keeper 2, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. There's a bunch of Command and Conquer games. I don't think I've ever played any of these. The Generals, Command and Conquer, The Saboteur, Populous. I don't know what this is. RPG, Strategy, God Game, Isometric. Populous, The Beginning. Alpha Centauri. It's only $2. Strategy, four times multiplayer, single player, space, turn based strategy. SimCity 3000. I used to love playing this game. Simulation, strategy, casual city builder, single player, and classic. Okay, so let's look at this one really quick because again, I am I am all for nostalgia here. I own several of the Sim games. Include with EA Play for $5 a month. I don't even know what the heck EA Play is, but I do have my own EA launcher, so, you know, $1.99. You got my attention, EA. God, I remember building all this stuff back in the day. Trying to build your cities and plan stuff out and, and make sure... Uh, yep, I remember the spaceship. I don't know if I'd be up on playing it now. Let me move me. Where's the other one? The Alpha Centauri. Let's look at this one. Oh, I guess I got to find it down here in the list. I'll look at this one. This one's only $2. Wait, this one came out in 2024. There's no way. Bioscans. It kind of reminds me of like Caesar 2 mixed with like Masters of Orion kind of games. That's pretty. That crap is so old. I mean, it's legit $2. And then let's go back. There was that populist game I wanted to look at. Again, it's also $2. It's sad that there's no video on any of these. Wow, I remember these graphics from back in the day. These were like high quality graphics back in the day, man. We've come a long way. I don't know, that looks kind of like there's a lot of lava everywhere. Why is it so red? Yeah, I don't think I'd be playing this. It's just really, really old looking. I just... It's not piquing my interest. I mean, the Sims, the SimCity um, 3000 was piquing my interest, but I don't know if I want to revert back to those graphics after all these years. Um... But yeah, this has been, it's been a cute walk down memory lane. Uh, I mean, if you like some of the older games and you're keen on playing them, then the, this is in your wheelhouse. Uh, I don't know when this ends. Does it, did any of them say when it ends? Let me just click on this one. March 21st. So Mar the offer ends March 21st. Well, we didn't look at this one, so it's up. So let's click it. I mean, these graphics are better. Dude, why are you smoking in a church? Uh-oh. Got a bomb on a... Oh, never mind. There's Nazis. Yeah, I'd probably blow their stuff up too. Even though I am German descent. I still think what they did was fucking horrific. And anybody that doesn't think otherwise, there's something wrong with you. Killing somebody based on their race, their religion, their skin color, anything like that is fucking horrific. And there's something wrong with you if, the, if you think otherwise. We should not be discriminating um, against a human based on something that either the way that they were raised or what they were born as or whatever. You shouldn't discriminate against anybody, period. Just my soapbox for the moment. Yeah, I probably would not play this because it's not it's a Nazi based game and I, I really don't like playing stuff like that. So um 
interesting. I mean, it is a blast from the past. And so I think on this list, um, I've got this one and this one left to do. And then I am all caught up on this pop-up for the day. And then I am done. So hopefully you won't see this. This is actually a night shirt over a t-shirt. So um, it was a little bit chilly here earlier. We've uh, I turned the heat off like two days ago because it was like 70 something degrees outside. And um, it did dip pretty cold last night. It's supposed to be in the 40s tonight because it's been raining all motherfucking day. But... Anyways, um, leave your thoughts down below. Do you like me going over these like weekly sales and just kind of like reminiscing or like seeing if I find anything interesting? I mean, so far we found one that I, I had my interest peaked. We'll be going over the Mortal Kombat one in the next video. And yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Leave your thoughts down below. Would you play any of these games? If not, um, then tell me why. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.